Hey there, French nibs again. Out here in the garage tonight doing a little bit of goofing around. It is a uh, windy, rainy day outside, and uh, we're going to keep it inside for today. <clears throat> a little bit of hoarse voice here. Um, all the trees are in uh, full bloom here and a full bud, and uh, I've got my allergies a little flared up, but I'm doing all right. But uh, we've got some really cool stuff, a lot of stuff to get into uh, for this mail call. <clears throat> First of all, I actually found some uh, ammo locally that I needed to kind of restock. I've been shooting up all of my other stuff, so I've got some Elay Club. I've actually shot that and a few guns already, and I know that usually shoots pretty good. Um, I did find some of this SK Standard Plus. Uh, I have not ever tried that before, so uh, that'll be something uh, different. And I did find some uh, SK semi-auto rifle. I've never tried that either, but I've heard good things about both of those. Uh, and the store did have some of this as well. Uh, S&B Club. Um, I've not seen anybody shooting any of that, so I only bought one box of that, so... Uh, but we'll be trying that out uh, soon out at the range. <laughs> this whole week is showing rain clean through Sunday, so uh, I don't know if I'm going to do any uh, outdoor shooting at all. But uh, let's get into the mail call now. <clears throat> I have uh, a number of packages here, no particular order. Um, but I've got this uh, coming in from, uh, I believe his name was John. John, yeah. Um, and he calls this the daisy tool. There's actually two tools in here. And uh, I've seen a couple of guys do uh, videos about these already. If you do any kind of uh, daisy uh, spring gun, the red rider, so to speak, uh, type of air guns, uh, one of these tools, well, both of these tools will probably be invaluable to you. Uh, and this is not my review about these. We're just unboxing everything for tonight. But uh, <clears throat> John actually makes uh, these tools and sells them on eBay. And I'll put a link to his eBay store down in the description. But uh, He has two different tools. And I'm going to have to do a little bit of research actually on which one does what. But uh, one of them has uh, thicker rods. So the, the deal with... A daisy is, let me grab my old red rider here, and I'll show you guys. So when you're going to rebuild it, one of these daisies, you take out the, take off the hand, the stock, and the cocking handle, and the trigger, all back here, and then the next step to getting the uh, gun apart is you take a tool like this with rods, and you stick it in from the back, until you, the spring is pushed up against this little uh, <clears throat> spring block here. So you got to push this in, and you'll push the spring enough to release the pressure on that spring block, spring catch or whatever you want to call it, and that will allow you to uh, remove that spring block. Once you do that, you can pull the whole. Uh, Pull the whole assembly out of there and uh, inspect your pressure piston seal and all that sort of thing. So now, most of us build a spring compressor from a welding rod or, or some or some other ways. There's a hundred different ways of making a homemade one of these, but there's always a compromise. Everybody only wants to have one. And if you have a wide body gun, and I don't know which, like I said, I don't know which one of these will work for which one, but uh, so they have uh, what they call the wide body daisies. And I'm getting a little too deep in the weeds here, but we'll get moving on pretty quick. So we've got the wide body daisies that have uh, this step out here. And so I think the thicker ones are be used for that to go in and not open up too far so you can still get to that spring catch here. <clears throat> but uh, and then the narrower one would be more appropriate for like the narrow body daisy like the little red rider there so 
Thank you, John, for sending these over for us to do a review on. And uh, I do have a uh, Buzz Barton over here that I'm still waiting for parts. Uh, been almost a month uh, goofing around trying to get parts for it, but they're on their way. They're in New Jersey right now, so they should be here in the next day or two. Sorry about that, Ted. <laughs> uh, I know you're waiting for your Buzz Barton back, but uh, I'm doing as best I can. So, so we'll be using that definitely to put that <coughs> sorry that buzz barton back together and uh we'll do a full review other than that <clears throat> besides that on both of those as well so this next one is a new cool uh little uh affiliation that i have with a company called anarchy outdoors and you guys that are air air gunners may not know about anarchy outdoors but they do a lot of uh higher end or upgrades for uh, bench rest shooting guns and uh, the first uh, items that I've gotten from them to do a review on and to help start upgrading some of my stuff are some parts for uh, one of my Savage Axes. I actually have three right now in house and I'm not sure exactly which one I'm going to put these on but uh, we got some cool parts in here for the Savage Axis. And uh, it's just the tip of the iceberg of what they have over there. But um, I wanted to start with something small, let them see that I can do a, a good review and, and be a valuable partner with them. And then maybe down the road we can get into uh, some more uh, interesting stuff. Well, I'm not saying this is not interesting. but uh, So first piece we have here is uh, they have a uh, full-length Picatinny rail for the Savage Axis and it has a built-in uh, level on the back of it so that is pretty cool and that is actually has their logo on there i believe this is one of the parts that they actually produce in-house let's see we got uh an invoice i don't need that right now <clears throat> but we should have oh oh got a <laughs> piece of candy they always send a piece of candy that's kind of funny that's the, I, I remember that now stickers stickers are always important remember that for later in the video <laughs> um, but uh, what we have here is uh, another uh, anarchy outdoors uh, part and it is uh, their uh, bolt handle I believe it's uh, I'm not sure. Let's see here. Savage Axis threaded bolt handle, uh, black. And then also to go along with it, to pair up with it, we have this really nice uh, bolt knob here. So let me just get that two pieces out so you can see those. haven't had my axis axis is x i like to say multiple but my axis uh rifles out in quite a while but uh this might spur me on so that's a nice actually lightweight uh aluminum but uh oh yeah very nice no uh nice machining on the on the threads for sure so that would be your bolt handle and back but uh, I've got, uh, so I have a 223, a 22250, and a 308 right now in the Savage Axis. So I'll have to figure out which one of those I want to uh, put that the stuff on. Uh, thanks a lot, Sav uh, Anarchy Outdoors. <clears throat> All right, let's get into uh, some subscriber mail. So, good buddy Bill, very... Uh, long time supporter always great supporter watches all the videos um, sent me over a care package here to uh, help out with the channel and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this open really appreciate Bill and more than anything I appreciate all his comments and camaraderie on the uh, the channel but uh, he is a patreon member and a channel member 
Uh, really trying to overachieve there. <laughs> but uh, he did send me an email to warn me that this was coming. But what we have here is some Rimfire uh, Classic Hard Card uh, from Kilo, Kilo, Kilo Shooting Sports. But uh, I've seen a lot of people using these, and uh, they're pretty cool. Um, you can either shoot them, you know, multiple shots at each bullseye. They're intended to shoot. Uh, in like a competition and you shoot uh, your sighters up top here and then you shoot one shot at every one of these bullseyes and uh, you get 25 shots and you add your score up so uh, <clears throat> but uh, we'll go ahead and uh, give these a try out at the range I really appreciate it Bill got a whole big stack of them there's got to be there's got to be over a hundred here but that is pretty awesome. I really appreciate Bill. Re appreciate all the supporters of the channel. Got got quite a number of uh, new supporters and uh, old supporters. A couple of guys that have been supporting the channel for several years now, including Bill, um, both on Patreon. The channel memberships are pretty new. I think only a few months have gone by since I started that. But uh, we have a really good growing community there. Uh, if you're interested in that, uh, most people say they can't see the join button on a mobile device. So you have to look at the uh, YouTube channel on uh, an actual, like a, a Google Chrome uh, browser on, on a computer. And you'll see a join button down next to the name of the channel. You can join for as little as 99 cents a month. And I have a Two ninety nine and a six ninety nine membership, um, but uh, that really helps out a lot, and uh, it's nice to have that uh, known uh, income coming in and to help out. Keep <laughs> that's over a hundred dollars worth of ammo right there, so <laughs> so that does it. It really helps out a lot. So so anyway, speaking of income, and I'm not really doing this to make any money. Uh, basically doing a break-even kind of thing but uh, I do have uh, a t-shirt now that I am proud to say that I could offer uh, as a sale item if you're interested I'm not going to say how much they are here um, give me an email <clears throat> the email my email address is down in the description down below it's nibs tools at live.com um, and I will tell you the logistics and everything and how much they are uh, they're a lot they're less than anybody else I'm seeing to sell t-shirts for so let me just tell you that <laughs> so um, and I do have other colors uh, I do like this logo without a uh, they do I do have a logo with like a wooden background I might try getting a couple of those to see how they turn out but I like this logo that's just kind of uh, a bullseye in the background um, but uh, these are really nice comfortable shirts this one's a large. I normally wear a medium, but this one's a large. These, this company I'm getting these from, tends to be a little small. So, um, and this is another uh, thing along this same line. Uh, I did open these up already. Fair warning. <laughs> but uh, this is pretty cool, though. This is pretty cool. This is next level for me as far as a channel goes I think uh, really uh, again I'm not trying to make any money here uh, just this is all fun for me but uh, a lot of people have been asking me uh, if I was going to get into t-shirts at all and if I was going to do stickers at all so <clears throat> I finally uh, again I think uh, the low-key air gunner uh, check out his page awesome guy he just out of the kindness of his heart uh, did up this logo for me but uh, now I have stickers I'll have to cut these into individual pieces but if you're interested in one of these also send me an email um, I'm not gonna ask that you send me any money but 
you know if you do want to get one of these maybe if you send me a super thanks you look down below you can get a super thanks for like 99 cents or a buck 99 or something just to cover the cost these are like 35 cents a piece or 50 cents a piece and a stamps gonna cost me 75 cents or whatever they are now so you know a buck 50 is gonna what it's gonna cost for me to ship this off to you guys I'm like I said I'm not looking to make any money but they're pretty cool they're uh, nice little three inch sticker I went with three inches to start off with uh, I may get some bigger ones down the road I really wanted to just see how they were gonna turn out and I'm really pretty happy with those so <clears throat> all right we've got one more package uh, and this is coming into me uh, from uh, Norica actually from Norica through Pyramid Air so I really appreciate both of those uh, companies and this is one that I've had my eye on for a while now actually this one is a fairly new release from from Norica uh, in this in this mode this model here they've had this this is the Omnia ZRS which stands for zero recoil system uh, and they've had the Omni out for a little while now I think a couple years maybe but uh, they just released it recently with uh, here we go here's uh, Pyramid Airs catalog. We'll look at that later. <laughs> a little bit of uh, going to sleep reading. But they just recently released this model in a wood stock. And, uh, I was kind of holding out, waiting until the wood stock version came out because like walnut and steel <laughs> so um but uh, yeah no picture of the gun on the thing but uh what we have here is the norica omnia zrs wood is what they call it uh, let's see how you get these guy out of the box here looks like it would come out from the end so if you guys have watched any of the videos on the zrs it is a pretty cool looking system it has a like a sliding spring chamber uh, that kind of divorces the divorces the uh, the recoil from the spring chamber from the all right so let's let me set that down just for a second it's something kind of rattling around in the box and make sure we've got nothing loose inside there. Right. Just, uh, just paperwork. No parts. All right. All right. All sorts of paperwork. Just a manual and stuff. Right, let's go ahead and, uh, I can feel the uh, the recoil system uh, springing around already. But that is a pretty cool looking gun. I really I like the looks of the they have one they have this in a, a black color, so it's like all black polymer down here with a black top. And then they also have one with the black polymer with like an anodized red up top that really looks pretty sharp too. But uh, so you've got your, if you see that, you, when, when, you, when you cock it, it's going to pull the barrel out like that. So when you shoot, that's going to slide back and that's going to eliminate the, uh, the recoil from damaging your scope or hitting you in the shoulder or whatever you want to call it. So cock it and when you cock it that what that's what pulls that whole chamber forward um, let me see here what do I got out here I want to shoot uh, this is a pretty stout uh, get a heavier pellet here 
So this is supposed to be like a thousand feet per second. I don't want to, I just don't want to go supersonic in the garage here. <laughs> I like to go to bed without my ears ringing. <laughs> Just gonna shoot one shot and then I'll bring you guys out here and oh that's still loud <laughs> maybe I'll hold off but there was no recoil that was pretty cool and it hit exactly where I was aiming yeah let's bring you out we'll do one more That was pretty awesome. Absolutely no recoil at all. <laughs> kind of a heavy girl. Probably, probably had some more deep, more, more. Of the problem was probably diesel and more than anything. I'll bet uh, from from oil. It does have a uh, adjustable cheek riser. That's really cool. So if you put a taller scope on there, you can mess with that. But. Uh, trigger feels really nice on this thing <laughs> same hole all right yeah that uh, it didn't even move all the way back either so it's out like that and it it only moved about halfway back so it'll be interesting to see how if if that movement so it's there's there's no there's no wobble there at all just straight back and forth be interesting to see how that uh, that actually works out as far as uh, accuracy goes and stuff the uh, the tests that I have seen on this gun have all been very very positive so uh, especially in the 177 this is a 177 caliber version it is available in 22 and in uh, 25 caliber as well but uh, I really wanted to get this in 177 very powerful <laughs> over a thousand feet per second is what they claim and uh, we'll definitely be putting that to the test but there you go another little flyby with it it is a heavy girl heavy girl <laughs> but uh, that's okay I, that's why I work out <laughs> Yeah, I can smell the uh, I can smell the diesel burning off from the uh, assembly lube there, but uh, there you go. Uh, kind of a long <laughs> mail call for tonight, but we got a lot of great stuff. Thank you, Norica. Thank you, Anarchy Outdoors. Thank you, uh, the Daisy Tool. Uh, thank you. What else? What else do we get? Uh, and thank you, Bill. <laughs> Especially thank you, Bill. Uh, I wouldn't be doing any of this if it wasn't for you great guys uh, giving me encouragement and support. Um, but it's a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, this is what it's all about. Just getting great air guns and trying them out and uh, great firearms too. So I'm going to be probably, if the weather, it's not looking great, but if the weather turns <laughs> better, there's actually supposed to be a three-gun match. This weekend and I may participate in my first three gun match um, I'm gonna use my 92 FS uh, M9A1 uh, as my pistol I've got a Remington 870 pump uh, and I have uh, I haven't decided whether I I've got two AK 47s ones in 223 ones in 762 39 I haven't decided which one of those I want to use yet but uh, be one of those two so uh, Stay tuned for that. Uh, if, it, if the weather holds out, it's supposed to be Saturday morning, but right now they're calling for like 96% chance of rain for Saturday all day. Um, so hopefully that changes between now and then. But uh, anyway, hope you guys liked the video. Again, thanks everybody for tuning in. And uh, this is going to be a lot of fun. Hope you guys liked the video. Till next time, have a great day.